improve the quality of life for our veterans. After North Dakota's House ousted former Representative Luke Simons from the legislature, questions remain over who will take his seat, whether he'll pursue legal action, and what House leaders plan to change to make sure harassment doesn't happen at the Capitol. Reporter Maddie Beertemple has answers to some of those questions in the aftermath of the state's first and only legislative expulsion. Luke Simons' lawyer, Lynn Bowie, says it's still not clear whether he'll take legal action against the legislature for expelling him. And we're going to sit down and, and figure out where to go. And again, the deciding factor is, is not only the law, but what his family desires. Simons took questions at a press conference, continuing to claim the allegations were mischaracterized and politically motivated. These are lies, 100% lies. So if they're lies, that means there's an agenda. While Simons' seat remains empty, District 36 Republican Chairman John Enderly says he's gotten hundreds of calls about whether his committee plans to appoint someone to the seat. He says until Simons makes a decision about how he plans to proceed, the seat will stay vacant. District 36 elected Luke Simons. We, we, we stand behind Luke Simons. And whatever his decision is, will do, if, if it goes the other way, yes, we will fill that seat. But until then, District 36 elected Luke Simons. Enderly also says the district committee has not formally met or voted yet on the issue. All day Friday, I sat in my recliner with a cup of coffee and two phones, and 90% will just please put them back in again. While Simons' next moves are still in the air, House Minority Leader Josh Beauchet says he and Majority Leader Chet Pollard are planning to meet to implement a better process for harassment reporting. My preference would be that you know each caucus would have someone who'd be part of a working group, uh, along with someone from Legislative Council, so that we can make sure we're asking the right questions. Again, reviewing the information of the steps along the way, what worked, what didn't work, and then of course propose potential changes. Boshe says he'll be meeting with Pollard in the coming days, and a new process should be in place soon. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, Maddie Beer Temple. Simon's lawyer says he expects to announce what action Simon's might pursue in the next day or two. Now our COVID-19 